this is a story about a recent uh, open play that I went to. Now, I do have a fan going in the background, and hopefully it doesn't do too bad on the video. Uh, at this Airsoft event, um, we're getting toward the end of the day. And everybody's, you know, tired. It's like the, the thing was 10 to 4. And it's about 20 to 4. Everybody's like packing up, getting ready to go. So I said, I'll go out for one more if we're going right into town, not too far from staging. And my buddy, who's the same age as I am, too, he said, well, I'll go out, too, if anybody else is going out. So these two young kids, one was 15, one was 17, I say kids, they had just bought airsoft guns that day, uh, Balkans. Um, so during the day, they were on my team most of the day. Uh, so I helped them set up the hop up so they could shoot better. I was giving them some tips on shooting and you know things like that. But there was the first time they're playing. So the two of them are going to go out with the two of us. And my thought was I go on one side, my buddy go on the other side, and we split them up. But they said, "Oh, we'll be us versus you." And I'm like, "Okay." So it was the two old guys versus the two young guys. Um, so I had my shotgun, gas shotgun, with an M4 mag on it, 300 rounds. Now, I had used it for the game before that, and I didn't reload. So I shot quite a bit that game before, playing like two 15-minute matches. And so I went out there this time, and we played one match, and I shot quite a bit. And I was getting some good hits, and then we switched sides. And I started shooting again, and I noticed, bang, it like, I heard the thing go, <clears throat> like it unwinds the high cap when there's like no BBs or whatever in it. And I said, I shake it, there's something, doesn't sound like there's anything left in there. So I'm like, oh, this sucks. So then I, I remember that if I turn the shotgun upside down and cock it, the stuff in the adapter will still go in and I'll be able to shoot. So I did that about three, three or four times. And then I had to shake it to try to get that last one and only two BBs come out. So I had most of the BBs out of the adapter. So I asked the ref, how much more time do we have? He said, we have four minutes left. And I said, well, I don't have another weapon. I didn't bring a pistol. I was only using a shotgun. I said, I'm not going to go back to staging and try to get back out in four minutes. So I said, I'm just going to go up to this guy and see how close I can get to him. Not that I'm going to shoot them or anything like that. I'm just going to see if I can get as close as I can to these guys. So first time, I see him run out to the left, one of the one of the younger guys. So I keep putting buildings and structures and, and barricades in his line of sight as I kept flying it to the left. And I kept going and going and going and going until I got right up to this 8x16 building and there he is on the far left-hand side, looking out to the left. I come around the corner, and I get about five feet away from him, and I say, Hey! And he jumps. He's like, Oh, my God, you scared the crap out of me. I said, I could have got you. He said, Oh, okay. Well, he said, I'll go back to spawn. I said, I'm going back to spawn, too. I didn't tell him I was out of BB chat. I did this three times to him. Got, like, right up to him and, like, scared the crap out of him. And the last time that I did it, I actually come up to him and I said, I'm holding the, the shotgun out. It's a pistol grip. I'm holding the shotgun out. And I said, you know, I could chew you. And he said, oh, oh, I'm glad you didn't. I said, but I have no BBs. And I pointed at another wall and I shoot. There's nothing coming out. I said, I don't have any ammo. I said, so I'm just trying to get up to you. He's laughing. He goes back for the fourth time. And this time he fit, he he ran to the right because I guess he was getting smarter going to the left. I kept going to the left and catching him. And it's less cover over to the right. But I did the same thing, kept buildings and whatever in, in his line of sight. And whenever he would be looking at me, I'd be fading by in a building that he couldn't see me. 
and he got behind this 4x6 piece of cover. I know it's 4x6 because when I stand behind it, if I go on my tiptoes, my head is exposed and I get shot. So he's on this 4x6 cover, and he's on the right side shooting. And I'm coming down the left, and I get to this building, like right even where he is. It's about 40 feet away. I just get ready to turn the corner and see how fast I, how far I can get to him, and the whistle goes off. And he 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 likes he like takes a step back to put his barrel cover on and looks to the left and sees me standing there and he's like shaking his head like oh god you would have got me again that close. So I had more fun doing that and not shooting at the guy and he had a blast. We went back to staging. And his father's there, and he's telling his father about this, and he's laughing, and he had such a good time. And first time playing, first time having an airsoft gun out there, he had a good time playing, which means he will come back, he'll buy more gear, he'll go to other places. I said, that's a future airsofter that we're going to have out there. I had a lot of fun playing with those guys on the field. They had a lot of fun playing on the field with all of us. And I, I can't wait to see them again, maybe this coming Saturday or whenever they'll come out again, because they know they're going to have a good time. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this story. I, I enjoyed, like, telling it. But as always, you guys have a good day, and enjoy the sunshine if you can. I'm going out right now. See you later. I'm just here to have fun.